Look at all of these suddenly relevant booster packs again. Hey everyone, TragicMTG here to do another masterpiece hunt. I'm going to do a double dose in honor of the new Format Pioneer. Uh, still looking for masterpieces, but now these are actually even more relevant because you can maybe play with these cards a little bit more nowadays with the new format um, coming out. So they're not just relegated to modern. Got a Pyramid of the Pantheon, which I don't think is going to be a big player in the new format or any format. Maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, we're just here to have some fun, open some packs, see if we can get one of those fabled masterpieces and maybe some of the good cards that are spiking in price right now due to the new format. Glorious end, we got a mythic at least. And the turn at the beginning of your end step, and uh, you lose the game. So I'm sure there's all kinds of shenanigans that can be done with a card like that with an expanded card pool, right? Stuff like Nexus of Face. Fate might work well with that. What do I know? You tell me. Our Devastation, looking for a Scarab God, which is a pretty dang good card. So all the cards that were pretty good in standard or dominated standards of these sets um, are coming back in vogue. Um, all the way back to Return to Ravnica. A Braid, that's a good one. Saving Grace and Kefnet's Last Word is rare there. Um, and in true tragic fashion, the day before the new format was announced, I sent off a big buy list and it included a bunch of Deathrite Shamans and I got about two bucks for each of them. When now they're going for like... 10 bucks each. Yay. Good timing award goes to someone else. Hour of Revelation. It costs three less to cast if there are 10 or more non land permanents on the battlefield. Destroy all non land permanents. Hmm. hmm. It's got some use. No masterpieces yet. Got a Battle for Zendikar pack coming up. What do you guys think of the new format? I'm kind of excited for it, but I would like to see it on Arena, which that's not going to happen. Battle for Zen, Uncommons, and the rare Defiant Blood Lord costs seven. Flying four or five whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life, and a full art land. Still not a big one. Another Zendikar pack here. Common, 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 uncommon. And a rare. Zada the Hedron Grinder, Goblin Ally. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets only Zada, copy that spell for each other creature you control that the spell could target. Each copy targets a different one of those creatures. I don't know if that one saw much play back in the day. Oath of the Gatewatch. So, on the list of cards that are spiking in price I didn't really see any from this set um, and I think it's really still early days um, the brewers were gonna come up with um, some interesting stuff I'm sure um, stuff like needle spires may not make the cut though uh, I think the the lands from the Kaladesh cycle are probably gonna be a little more useful Oath. Kozilek. Good old Kozilek. There's a waste, so we'll pull that one. Those might see some play. Chitinous Cloak, Baloth Pup, Warping Whale, and a Dimensional Infiltrator. It's Devoid, Flash, Flying. You can pay. One and a colorless target opponent exiles the top card of his or her library. If it's a land card, you may return Dimensional Infiltrator to its owner's hand. Hmm. Another not-so-big one. All right, on to Aether Revolt. 
Definitely looking for some fatal pushes here. That's going to be a relevant card, I imagine, as it is in modern. Um, so Pioneer is going to be missing some of the big stuff from modern that's just staples like Lightning Bolt. Um, so they're just going to have to come up with their own kind of standards. Well, I'm sorry, Pioneer staples list. Sly Requisitioner, Monstrous Onslaught, SRAM. Senior Edificer. Whenever you cast an aura, equipment, or vehicle spell, draw a card. I don't see vehicles really being a thing uh, much, but energy probably will, right? Keep that energy token out. Here is another pack of Aether Revolt. Just going to go through the comments quickly. Not many of those are going to be standouts. Treasure Keeper, Barricade Breaker, Vengeful Rebel, Lightning Runner, so that's a mythic. Three and two red, Double Strike Haste, Human Warrior. Whenever Lightning Runner attacks, you get two energy. Then you may pay, is that like seven or eight energy? <laughs> if you pay, untap all creatures you control. And after this phase, there's an additional combat phase. It's kind of a lot. I don't know. Is there an energy strategy that can use that to its benefits? Let me know. Kaladesh packs. Whoops. So, looking for a smuggler's copter. Got banned pretty quick when it was in standard. Uh, but now it's unbanned. So, it's just a matter of time before those kind of broken cards are going to get banned again in the Pioneer format. But for now, you can use them and break them and dominate with it and so it should be pretty interesting uh let's see a uh, wisp weaver angel demolition stomper incendiary sabotage got a madcap experiment reveal cards on the top of your library until you reveal an artifact card put that card onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order madcap experiment deals damage to you equal to the number of cards revealed this way tricky and a foil elegant edge crafters and nothing else all right so and again i think it's just a matter of time before we see pioneer masters since they're going to support this new set they really want to reprint these cards they've already gone through all the trouble to have this really great art commissioned that costs money the design team got paid so that costs money so these cards are just kind of languishing not good enough for modern um maybe they can you know make a format out of it they want to reprint they want to sell cards they got to people get, get people interested in the new s format to to make more packs to sell and masters is coming soon i guarantee it come on let's get a masterpiece to finish this thing off here hazardous conditions Fretwork Colony, Experimental Aviator, and a Metalwork Colossus. It costs 11, but you can cheat it in. Costs X less to cast where X is a total converted mana cost of non-creature artifacts you control. You sacrifice two artifacts, return Metalwork Colossus from your graveyard to your hand. So it's already a pretty good card. I don't think it's super expensive. But artifact strategies across all of the sets that are now in Pioneer, I could see just this would be a good include in some of those builds um i think it's a good card it might see a comeback so no masterpiece again they're pretty rare and uh, i don't think i got any of the big spiky boys that are uh seeing a lot of gains right now but uh i'm gonna scan these up anyway and we'll see how i did okay ready to scan metalwork colossus little bit elegant edge crafters as a foil i don't think it's really gonna be worth much madcap experiment 40 cents lightning runner 62 cents sram it's a buck 86 dimensional infiltrator bulk pile needle spires almost zada Defiant Bloodlord, Hour of Revelation, 72, Kefnet's Last Word, 
pyramid of the pantheon and glorious end as a mythic nothing big there so come on pioneer make use of these cards and see them spike uh, so I can do better than 769 on my 12 packs there is there anything good in here that I wanted to scan I got a waste and I want to say that was it <laughs> Anything else? A braid. We'll scan the braid. It's probably like the biggest car we pulled. Two bucks. It was an uncommon. So there you go. I made over ten bucks. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, Tragic MTG saying see you later.